If I'm going to be completely honest, when I was younger, science just didn't make sense to me. I thought it was just a bunch of theories. But going to the museum, I realized science is magic. We started when she was about eight years old there at the museum. There was so much to learn and things you could touch and feel and experience. And it brought things to life. I think being at such um, a spectacular place like the Museum of Science and Industry made me want to be a part of that, be a part of science. We have an average of about a million and a half guests a year, and over 500,000 children are involved in our various education programs. All of the types of experiences, whether it's in the exhibits, whether it's in one of our learning labs, whether it's in one of our programs, it gives us the chance to reach each of those individual students and push them forward. Today what we're doing with the kids is we're making our very own egg drop. She's able to go out into the museum floor and interact with kids and get them involved and excited and to be excited herself. It makes me feel really happy, really um, proud that I can speak about science in a way that younger kids can understand. We want to think about how do we take the experiences we have in the museum beyond our walls. We want to find a way to continue that learning at school. So whether that's all of the teacher education work where we're trying to change the way classroom teachers are teaching science in our schools, or whether it's through all of our out-of-school time programs where we have a broad network of after-school programs where children go each week to do science in their own communities. It's those types of experiences that give us that broad reach that makes us so much more than just simply a destination. We change lives. I hear it from guests, I hear it from parents. Believe it or not, I used to be pretty shy. She would hide her face if people came over to speak to her. And now she's so poised and articulate and outgoing. And I attribute that a lot to the Museum of Science and Industry. The world is not waiting for us to catch up in science and technology. In 10 years, every sixth grader will be in the workforce. So if we don't move quickly, there'll be a whole generation of kids that haven't been affected. Our vision is to inspire and motivate our children to achieve their full potential in science, technology, medicine, and engineering. Persistence and being relentless are critical. You can't give up. You can never give up. Alexis is a great example of all of the youth that we work with here at the museum. And she's right on the verge of going out into the world. And we've had an opportunity to spark her interest, to motivate her to go further. But in turn, she has taken on the challenge of being that inspiration to others. I'm very thankful that I've had the opportunities that, that I did. I get to do a lot of things that most teens don't. Science hasn't always been, it didn't seem accessible before. It seemed kind of just like an idea that other people can do science, but it's not me, like I can't specifically do science. But having those people there telling me that I could do it, that I, I could be the teacher, it was really self-empowering. From who she was to who she is now, it's just amazing.